Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, this is a video on how to set up your camera for your Galaxy S5. So there are some tricks that you can actually do to the S5 to improve the camera quality of taking your photos. So this is set, reset back to factory reset for the camera. And now I'm going to take you through what you should change on it. So first thing uh, I would do is actually turn off picture stabilization. Picture stabilization will blur your images um, or create a haze actually uh, more accurately when there isn't low light. So you actually wanna leave that off unless you're in a low light setting. So for picture stabilization, you want that off, first of all. Second of all, you want face detection on. Face detection is gonna be much better uh, on, so it actually gets clearer shots of people's faces and just makes sense. Uh, for the second row, you can turn on tap to pictures if you would like. The focus is really quick on this device. Uh, it's the fastest one out in the market. So um, it really is a good way to do it, but it's up to you, I'll leave that up to you. Now as we go to the third row, 1080p is uh, still the standard, so I recommend using 1080p for your full video. However, if you do wanna bring it up to 4K, you can, but you won't really notice it unless you have a 4K TV. However, where I do recommend you always do for your video recording is set it to smooth motion. So smooth motion is by far the best uh, video quality you can get. However, you see you do lose two things uh, that you normally can't have. However, the quality is so much better that I would still say it's completely worth it uh, when you're filming video. So when you're filming video, I do recommend you use uh, smooth motion. And uh, what it does is it films at 1080p at 60 frames per second, so it looks like you're there. It just, it's an amazing video quality, especially when you look at it on a TV, it just really stands out. Video stabilization, I would normally have on. Audio zoom, uh, you only want to turn on when you have a, a person in a crowd where it's very noisy. So say if you're recording someone in, when they're at Times Square and they wanted to say something, that's a, a perfect example of when you would want to use audio zoom. For the effects, um, just letting you know, you can download more of the effects right here and you can also manage them. It is a live viewing, so you can actually see when you have different effects on the device and see how they uh, look. So really nice for that again. Flash, um, I typically have it off unless I want it, uh, simply for the fact that you don't want it to whitewash uh, your photos, so I typically have it off. But um, if you want to have it on auto, that's fine. Uh, flash ruins more photos, though, in my opinion, than it helps most of the time. Uh, HDR you want off uh, for most uh, for most purposes, unless you know what you're doing, which I'll have a full video on when to use HDR um, so that you have a better understanding of how it works. Your storage you typically want on your memory card. And uh, the other main part that I usually recommend doing is voice control. Voice control makes it very easy to take photos and videos using your voice, so that way you can better stabilize your phone and then say it. Um, it it's the best way, in my opinion, other than, of course, now uh, taking a photo can happen with the camera key or the volume key right here, and that will actually take a photo as well. Overall, these are the different ways uh, to set up your camera. I typically have HDR on, um, although again, I will do an in-depth video on explaining what HDR is and how it'll help your photos uh, later on. If you have any other questions on this device, uh, please feel free to ask and I will explain it as best I can. Thank you for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.